Prosecutors say it appears the colleges were not involved. Barry Norman is co-founder and director of counseling at Expert Admissions, a service that helps students get into college. She was an admissions officer at Barnard College of Columbia University. Good morning, Barry. Good morning. Um, this, we've known that wealthy parents have certain advantages all the time in getting their kids so not only into private high schools and boarding schools and colleges. Jared Kushner's father pledged $2.5 million to Harvard University that helped him get into Harvard. How is this different? Well, this is illegal, um, first and foremost. Um, this skirted the entire system. We know that development and advancement offices exist for the purposes of making a campus better, enriching the academic experience. Um, this was a, an entirely different thing. And letting wealthy kids cut the line. And if, if it benefits the, the larger enrollment process in terms of funding the, the university. Absolutely. These were parents who were cutting the line illegally and taking their kids along for the ride, by the way. Does it surprise you that coaches were involved in the scam? It's one thing for parents. But for the coaches of these schools to be participating as well, did that surprise you at all? I mean, a bit, the fact that there are people on the college side like that was a, a little bit surprising. But we see these kinds, we've seen these kinds of scandals before. So in that regard, it, not really. Um, I think the fact that there were consultants and parents who actually went there to try and get it done and were able to get that kind of deal done, though, to me is a bit surprising. You know, the whole college experience trying to get in is high stakes, high stress. When you were an admissions officer, did you have anybody approach you in this way? Um, you know, I didn't when I was on the admissions side. I have had people approach me when I've been on this high school side. To say um, what? To say, listen, if I offer you this amount of money, can you guarantee that my child will get into either this school or an Ivy League university? The answer is, of course, no. Mm -hmm. um, there are no guarantees that I can make, and, and neither could anyone, actually. What strikes you most? Are the people desperate? I think that they're desperate, but I mean, really, are they? I, this really speaks more so to how high stakes college admissions has become and what a status symbol it's become that even celebrities feel that it's not enough. Well, Barry, that's the question, isn't it? So of, let's say, 100 people who are trying to get into one of these elite schools, how many of them are in a situation where it's basically treated like fancy apparel, that you get into the right place so you have the right name attached to you and it is totally dis detached from the health and, and of the child? Absolutely. I think the fact that admissions has become so competitive has led people astray. I mean, where are we that parents are doing this and, again, taking their kids along with them? We wonder why the kids are stressed it's yeah. because the admissions process But what is about the kids that work hard? They work hard. They do the work. They're not getting in. What's your message to them today? Keep at it. This shouldn't change what you're doing. Work hard. Most people, believe it or not, most kids are getting in the right way. And you do believe it's ultimately a meritocracy? I think that it is primarily a meritocracy, but it is not a perfect system. All right, All right Barry Norman, thank you very much for joining us.